I became a starting quarterback in the United Football League, but how I got here was unconventional to say the least. Headed into my senior season at Boise State, I got suspended by the NCAA. Just trying to make my NL bag in the sponge business, they got it twisted and accused me of involvement in the underground sponge market, so I had to hit up my lawyer to beat them allegations. But the damage was already done. My hopes and dreams from 1A high school football to one-star recruit to leading Boise State to an Orange Bowl, I was cooked. I couldn't finish out my senior season and bring the city of Boise a national championship like I wanted to. That job was up to Malachi Nelson now. Even my road to glory file was disgusted at the allegations and forced me to control a different player. So while my lawyer worked on my case in the background, I stayed focused on my craft, working out until failure, even if it's just two reps, and dialing in on keeping the dream alive. The grind was not easy, but the grind is always worth it. And so one year later, I got a life-changing call from the UFL. It was the San Antonio Brahmas giving me a second chance to play quarterback, so I wasted no time getting acclimated and won over the job as well as my teammates. This is how my season went. And it starts right here, right now. San Antonio Brahmas in the Alamo Dome going up against the DC Defenders. Starting off with a little gun empty split. Why not? Let's go deep to our man. We got him. What a dot into the window. Why not step up and scramble? 75 speed. <laughs> and uh, you saw all the combine we ran. 40 yard dash. My IRL 40 yard time equals that. Defense gave up a touchdown, so we're back on offense. Just looking to get a first down here. Goolsby couldn't hold on. That leaves D to come in and try to get this 63-yard field goal. Does he have the boot? Here's the kick. Very accurate. Had the distance, but it's honestly just short. King's Punch coming with a little play action here. Pressure all up in our grill. Man, I'm not going to lie. It already feels a lot like uh, my Salona Beach Dynasty here where I'm just under pressure all day long and forced to make some tough decisions. Down 20-0. to zero. It's now the second quarter. I think it's safe to say that's all out of our system. Simmons comes down. To if they read the Boise State scouting report, you'd know that it's just, it's just commonplace. We got to get the ints out of our system. Once the ints are out of the system, we unlock a new level and we can start working as we're driving already into the red zone. I'm going to keep it a buck. This touchdown is going to get us all the more closer. And that's King Sponge. First career passing touchdown in the UFL. My mind is already on comeback. And I'm wondering what is the greatest comeback in UFL history. Someone let me know in the comment section. Well, shoot. Our touchdown did not mean much at all as uh, they score a touchdown of their own. Hold on now. Someone said let Sponge cook. And another open man. This time it's Tolliver. Getting a big gain. Clock is ticking. I don't really know why I didn't call a timeout here. Uh, so let's just try to chuck one up to the tight end. We've got him, and he's out of bounds with four seconds left. Could have gone for it, but I said let's let destroying cash in for three money. Bro, the Brahma's defense must be a load of barnacles right now because we cannot get anything going. All about that hurry up tempo. Just trying to get strike after strike. That's our big receiver, Simmons. Sponge looking to light this thing up. And the X Factor is the perfect man to go to. That is a touchdown in a big one, to say the least. Our guy Simmons here, the X Factor, feels like a machine. As we're going to go down the sideline, we got a man. Balage, the Falcon High School product out of Colorado. We connect. But uh, hey, that is going to come back because he was out of bounds. Fourth down, 15 seconds left. Fourth and 17. Just last for garbage time. Why not have some fun with it? And yeah, we're going to need to come back next week with a better plan. That's to say the least. UFL football is back this time going up against the Memphis Showboats. King Sponge getting a golden opportunity here with the defense making an early stand. We're going to scramble, see if we can do it with our legs. King Sponge, 75 speed, plunging in. Touchdown, Brahmas. Come on, man. Let's go. Don't mess with my 4.840. Run a little mesh spot. Scramble out. We got a guy. Let's just dump it to him on the run. Sure, I'll spread the love to Patrick because after all, we're looking for a UFL championship and we're going to need the whole squad. It can't be an all King Sponge showcase. We got to spread the love. But in this case, King Sponge with a keeper. That's a touchdown, baby. All right, something's got to be off here. Three times in a row. Uh, I don't know how, but the defense is getting us the ball back in the end zone position. Lobbing it up to the big man. No good. Destroying comes out on the field. Looking to get this three-pointer. Put us up by 11. 
King Sponge back to work, scrambling out to his right, showing a lot of what he was able to do in college. Find the open creative receiver there. Got another empty set here, scrambling once more. Usually when we get time, something's gonna open up just like that. Perfect, on the move. That's Kalen Balazs, no pressure in our face. We find an open receiver. From one-star quarterback in high school to walk on at Boise State to now leading the San Antonio Brahmas in the UFL. So what if we made a mistake and, you know, lost our opportunity in the NFL? That's okay. That's what the UFL is for, right? We got a second chance and we can make it count. Thankfully, the UFL is here to give us a second chance because once we can show what we can do on the field, I think NFL teams will come knocking, especially if we cut those type of plays out of our repertoire. Thankfully, the Memphis offense has been really a non-factor in this one. Our defense doing a lot of good work. We have this one in the bag, but why not let King Sponge just top it off with another touchdown? King Sponge and the Brahmas were able to outdo the Showboats in week two. Back in the Alamo Dome, this time going up against the Battle Hawks. They scored quick. Don't know what's going on with my scoreboard. There it is. As soon as I speak it, it fixes. And Simmons is on the run. Stumped this one out to Kalen Balage Off his helmet, he still catches it, but falls over. What in the world? That is all good here because Donald D. LaHaye makes the 48-yard field goal and some. What kind of week will week three be? Well, so far, so good. I'm going to go deep to our man. He looks wide open. That's a touchdown. Down 14-10 to St. Louis. I'm going to hit our guy on the outside here. He's got just some room to rumble. Hand off, Patrick. Touchdown. We are going blow for blow with St. Louis, and I'm just throwing bomb after bomb after bomb. What a catch. Come on now. On the RPO. Give me that. Uh-oh. Pressure in our face. Just going to scramble. Got one off somehow miraculously in a comeback catch of the ages there. 15, Johnson is having a big Johnson type worth of game. Yo. Yep, that pick was pretty much a dagger unless we just do something miraculous here. And nah, that's going to seal it. We lose to the Battle Hawks. One and two. Man, I didn't see this coming. Unfortunate that the Brahmas drop another one in the Alamo Dome. Winning on the road, losing at home. Not a good recipe. There really isn't much excuse right now for King Sponge. I mean, one and two, we're throwing for like 400 passing yards a game. That is true, but uh, where are the wins at? We're back at the Alamo Dome, taking on the Michigan Panthers. Let's go get a dub. You know, I'm not going to lie here. I think we got to get the dub and win out the rest of the season to get to the championship. I mean, if we're being realistic, you lose three games, you're not really in the championship conversation anymore. We're playing just like we played in college, high risk, high reward. We can score a lot of points. We can get a lot of yards, but uh, we're going to make some turnovers. Going to step out. Yep, we got out of trouble there. We're scrambling for our lives. King Sponge just going to throw a dot up the seam. You couldn't come down with it. Seriously, man. Buddy had six in his hands, but he said, nah, I don't feel like it. But 15, Johnson with the big Johnson always feels like it. Let's go out to 15 as Johnson. Yes, sir. Just running past, guys. That was... Uh, a little too easy. Johnson is stepping up as our star receiver. Not only do I want to get back to the league, well, so does Johnson. So let's feed Johnson and have a day, young man. Johnson, I'm going to trust you to go and make a play. And what do you know? He does. I'm connecting a lot with this Johnson fell out here. Like he's doing so much to help the squad. And on the run, I'm going to go back to him. Fourth and one at the three. Sorry, D. I'm going to take this one myself. I think I can do this. Uh, Johnson. Nope, deflected off a helmet. Unfortunately, me force-feeding Johnson didn't end up in any points, so uh, I'm forced now to just get some more points if we can. And Simmons, oh my goodness, 83, make a play. Nine seconds left, eight seconds left. Let's just get something quick. Three, two, one. Let's just step out of bounds, give D a chance. Destroying with a 35-yard attempt, it's money. Down by a touchdown, you know, we're struggling on the defensive side of things to keep this thing close. Look, I'll take the fall for my turnovers. I get it. That's costly. But at the same time, man, like, it's unbelievable how bad the defense is playing. I have 350 passing yards and a couple touchdowns, and it's just the end of the third. And I'm going to connect for another big one to Simmons. But look at this Garbanzo. Our defense gives up another touchdown, so we're down by 14. I mean, look at this. I am an offensive leader in this league for a reason. I mean, I'm putting up numbers, doing my part. 
and the one-time defense does something for me here, great. It's at the end of the game, so now I get a chance to go and win. Definitely in hurry-up mode here. Just have to get grooving, and it is grooving. It's just that the clock doesn't stop, and we're out of timeout. So uh, I am moving as fast as I can. Getting a big play here out of bounds, maybe. I don't know. It'll all help, but let's go up and spike it. Nine seconds left. Can't afford to be stopped short. We have to go end zone. And I'm going to go to number 15, and we're short. And oh my gosh, we lost. My 550 passing yards was not enough for the promise to win. We fall to one and three. Michigan Panthers beat us. This is getting a little redonky donk, man. I can't believe the defensive letdown that the Brahmas are giving us. Headed over to Dallas. We're playing against the Arlington Renegades. It's the Brahmas. It's the Renegades. A little Texas showdown. And, uh, well, we're one in three, so I think the championship hopes are out of reach. But um, King Sponge can continue to build his stock, continue to get some eyes on him by playing solid offense. Renegades won the XFL last year. Now we're merged, so this team is legit, and uh, they have talent. So that means it's going to be all the more important for our offense to just start buzzing. So I'm going to go deep to our big receiver, the X Factor. He comes down with it. Those type of passes, those type of catches will set us up in the NFL one day. Little pump fake, Johnson, money. That was sweet. This pump fake got him to freeze. Bingo. Touchdown. Oh, yeah. We got to step on him on the outside. That is Simmons. Routine. Money. Touchdown. Tragically, we have let the game go by the wayside, and Arlington's come back in. They have come all the way back to get the lead, so I need to go on this drive here and lead the offense down the field. I think we can do just that, and uh, Johnson's going to be a big part of it. Unfortunately, I underestimated the coverage of the safety he picks us off. The Renegades ice out the game after getting the ball back. We're going to lose. We had the lead. We had the momentum. Yet somehow our defense folds. We don't get any more insurance points. Yo, I don't know what is going on with our luck in the UFL so far. One and four. Back against DC, who destroyed us in week one in the Alamo Dome. This time we get a chance to take them on at their home turf. And they're up quick with a 7-0 lead. But that connection to Goolsby will get us right down to the red zone. 61 yards. King Sponge and his offensive prowess is just growing. And, well, yeah, the record doesn't tell the story. You know, one and four in the UFL, it's uh, a full team package, right? The defense is doing nothing to help the cause. Giving up a touchdown like 70% of the time is clearly not good enough for the UFL, not good enough for the NFL. I don't know what it's good enough for. Regardless, we got a chance here to show why we belong, and uh, that's a great way to show it. Stump this one back off to Balage. See if he can get sprung open, and yeah, those blocks kind of just parted, and I did not mean to show about there. Oops. <laughs> Let's just let it fly. I see him behind the safeties. Simmons couldn't hold on. I dropped that right into your lap. Sigh. Our defense never really given us a chance, and uh, we're down 10. Little score here goes a long way. There it is. Let's get three more points to at least tie it up. Touchdown to win. And one in five. Hello. King Sponge and the Brahmas are in Houston for the side of this one going up against the Roughnecks. And that little bump on defense is going to spring our man all the way down the sideline for a monster play. We fell short in a moment where we could have been the hero. The reality is we're playing pretty good football. It's just that, you know, it's a team sport and it takes all the pieces to come together to make it come and play like a team. Because of that, we're still getting some scouts to knock on our door and I'm sure we can get a couple offers maybe in the off season. Oh yeah, Balaj just springs free all the way to the house. Touchdown. You know, this path hasn't been as glamorous, as flashy as we thought we were going to be as a top tier pick in the NFL. But honestly, this was the path we needed for our character. We definitely had things working in this one as it's fourth quarter action. We're up by 15 points. That's the most we've seen in a while. That field goal gives us an 18 point cushion. That is a wrap. We actually get a win. Our second win of the season. It took till week seven for it to come, but, uh, Hey, nonetheless, a win's a win. Let's just finish the season strong. Arlington's back in town, so that means it's time for revenge against the Renegades. Just don't have the wheels in the college playground to really move it. And uh, looks like Simmons might have a step. He sure does. Right into the basket. 
Oh, yeah. Deep to Simmons. Deflected into the arms of the defender. That's a second pick, and that's an unfortunate one. Thankfully, defense holds to only two field goals, so we can come back and throw this dot for six. Two-minute drill. That is exactly what Arlington is going to go, gonna go down and do because we got six. We'll do it with our legs. Defense has came to play today, uh, I would say. I mean, we're up big with this score now that we just scored a touchdown out of thin air. I mean, we were up three, but now we're up 10. And somehow we are all tied up with just a few minutes left. And that was crazy. The defender was getting burnt. Turns around, makes a pick. Somehow the Renegades score their touchdown, but don't get the extra point. So uh, that can give D a chance to win it. Let's throw it quick on the slant. That's Johnson just about to score down to the one. Two clock left on, handing it off. I think I'm going to eat that one on purpose. Because that's right. I got faith that this play right here will cash it in. He's ready. You ready? Goolsby. Touchdown. What did I say? The Renegades ice destroying as he lines up for the kick. I sense destroying isn't worried about it. Yo, I missed. I missed the extra point after getting iced. I thought I was right down the middle with an accurate click and everything. D can shake that one off and make up for it in a big way here. It's overtime. Renegades already missed their chance to score, and it's our ball. But since the Renegades did not score anything on their possession, literally all we got to do is get three points, and this game's over. D, here we go. Chance to make up for the missed extra point. 40-yard field goal right down the middle for the win. Renegades are going home. Brahmas are victorious. There it is, our third win of the season. Let's get it. King Sponge with a few turnovers, but 500 plus passing yards. That's a good performance all in all. Week nine against the Birmingham Stallions. The campaign continues on. King Sponge getting pretty close to 4,000 passing yards on the season. And that 87 yard strike to Tolliver is going to put him just about there. The Brahmas in this season really were no short of fireworks as 88 Tolliver again just rumbling his way all the way down the field, shedding a tackle. He has two catches for 159 yards already. With just one week remaining after this and the season pretty much lost, we uh, have no shot at any championship or nothing. But uh, there's a pick. What I was saying before I was so rudely intercepted was that the Brahmas already have offered us a contract to come back. But yeah, we're not just jumping at that contract right now because we want to bet on ourselves and see if we can get a crack at the NFL. Heck, if we have to, we'll be a walk-on for any club in the league. We don't discriminate. Victory formation. The Brahmas are coming on strong at the end of the season. That knee is going to seal it. Now four in five with one week remaining, we can get back up to 500 on the season. Another 400 passing yard performance. Final game of the season is against the St. Louis Battlehawks. St. Louis Battlehawks have had a great year, and uh, they're looking to cap off the season with a dub. But so are the Brahmas. We want a dub. We want to get back to 500. Why not us? This year's candidate for offensive MVP, clearly the best quarterback in the UFL. It's King Sponge, and we're on a mission in our final week. Got to throw one up deep to Johnson, because why the heck not? And, well, Hamilton is exactly there to tell me why not. Let's go ahead and run that back, this time to Simmons, who actually has a step on his man, Sebastian, for six. King Sponge with the dime. Going to be looking across the middle. He's got a man. That's Simmons once more. End of the season's rolled around, and we've gotten hot at the wrong time. But more importantly for some teams like the Battle Hawks with playoffs here, uh, they're getting cold at the wrong time. Might have spoke too soon about the Battle Hawks getting cold because uh, their team has gotten two touchdowns, and that was a catch. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Tight end's got a step. He hauls it in. goolsby has been a great addition. We're going to go outside with a strong flood. There's number 88. King Sponge, always a threat to strike from anywhere on the field. He got his troops down there and in the end zone. With just a few minutes left, we're only up by six. It's important we get some insurance to just ice this one out. Oh, yeah. I think he's got a step. He burnt him on that sluggo. 88 into the end zone. Sebastian's been toast this game. Battlehawks make a valiant comeback, but it's all for naught. King Sponge in victory formation can take a knee and send his Brahmas home with a conclusion to the season. A three-game win streak, 5-5 five and five record. Brahmas got hot. 
at the end, but uh, all for naught, not to get into the playoffs. King Sponge showed anyone that was paying attention to the UFL this year that he is a dynamic quarterback that still has a lot in the tank. So if anyone at the next level wants to give him a chance, he's ready to go put in work. If not, the UFL is already ready to give me another crack at a second season. And if you soaked up this episode, I'm sure you'll love many more on my channel. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next.